Hello guys, in this video we will see introduction to statistics. So let's get started. This is the content we, uh, you will see after a few minutes. First we will do definition of statistics, how it useful in real life, how it can misguide you also. After that uh, we will do branches of statistics. Definition Statistics is a science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, interpreting and presentation of data. So statistics is a science. It means a systematic way of study of collecting the data. We collect the data from primary source or secondary source. After that what you do, you organize the data. It means classify the data. And after that what you do, you analyze the data by the by the use of lots of uh, statistical formula like mean median mode is available and you apply to analyze after that what you do in you interpret the data interpret means make a conclusion on that data after that you present the data in the form of charts pie charts and lots of beautiful graphs in front of your employer right it helps us to make intelligent decision in presence of variability and uncertainty. Our world is full of variability and uncertainty. Suppose the world without variability and, and uncertainty. This is the first world we are assuming. Uh, in this world, only one crop is grown and only one way, one procedure is followed to grow the crop. If, if it were, we never ask this type of question, which crop should I grow? If you ever go on to the farmer and do the conversation with him, uh, he said, hey, which crop should I grow in summer? Which crop should I grow in winter? This type of question, he said, because in our real world thousand of crop is grown and variability is there all right i hope you understand and uh, which crop is more profitable uh, this is also uh, listened by you in in some time which procedure should i follow for a particular crop uh, only one procedure is followed to grow the crop so in our real world there are lots of procedure to grow the crops all right second example is in this world wha what is the happening humans eat two piece of bread every day if it were if anybody ask ask a question how many breads will they eat on 2 february uh, 2020 uh, this is the prediction problem and you can easily uh, give this answer because there is no variability every human eat two piece of bread every day that means on 2 February 2020 also they who they eat two bread also so so prediction is very easy when the world is uh, full of certainty the third example if all human being react in a same way then there no need of survey interview or customer research in our real world we do we do lots of survey interviews customer research marketing okay for understanding the consumer behavior all right i hope you understand now how it useful in real life suppose this is the government and this is firm a this is firm b firm means a company and government has to decide uh, government want to collect uh, the penalty of uh, the carbon emission pollution based on the pollution level all right this is the data of uh, firm a this is the data of uh, firm b if government uh, want to make a decision he analyze column by column like this but it takes lots of time it, so there are lots of delay so to make a better and fast decision you can use a statistical formula like mean 
by the comparing the mean you can easily now make a decision so the mean of firm a is uh, higher than the firm b Wha what does it mean for the emission of pollution of firm a is higher than the firm b now government charge more money from firm a so this is how a statistical is useful to make a decision in our daily life so suppose this is ravi and he want to invest the money on the company and there are two two firm firm a and firm b and this is the data he make decision based on the mean value if he make and invest invest some money and result is out so 2018 uh the profit is 320 and for firm b is 490 so as you can see that firm b is more consistent and the probability of getting higher profit is more in firm b than firm a so don't take any decision based on only one thing this is how a uh, statistical data sometime misguide you do make your own research and collect the data from other resources so that you study thoroughly the data about the company then you make a decision sometimes uh, statistical data is not reliable we will face this same problem in the coming chapter this is okay by the use of standard deviation let's see branches of statistics there are two branch descriptive statistics inferential statistics so uh, 90% of 90% of statistics is a uh, inferential only 10% is descriptive statistics first we will do descriptive statistics then uh, you go forward to inferential statistics so so thank you for now